Day two of going out to harvest elderberries. Um, we're gonna hit the backwoods and go up to the one of our front roads where um, my bucket was. So I showed y'all last time my bucket was full and it was literally overflowing and I couldn't fit any more in. And I was having a hard time trying to reach the limbs the way they were leaned over that huge drop off. So we've got um, a five gallon bucket this time and we've got some extension cords and some different things we're going to take to try to rope around the trees to pull closer to us and um and get some more elderberries i have not seen them any more beautiful than where they are over there so we're off to do that all right so we've made it down here and i'm back at <laughs> the, the there goes the aldermans right there all right, so we're back out to where we were harvesting these elderberries. And this is not a good one at all. There's a few on there. I brought a five gallon bucket this time, but you can see like that one over there is so full that a lot of these are really, are really hard to get to. There's a buttload of them down there, but we're at a big drop off. I don't know if you can see, this is a pretty big drop off. So we're just out trying to Get the rest of these some are up high some are down low and we're at a really steep hill so it's kind of challenging but we did bring a few things to take and kind of toss down there and wrap around them and pull them up if we can so anyway um this this was definitely huge right here i mean huge so absolutely beautiful. That one leave. Still got a pretty good bit of green. yeah I, I would try to reach out and get some of those first but I mean you see you're stepping and our gra the grass is up to my waist I come in the other day and just kind of took my foot and laid some of this stuff over oh, <laughs> Colby's got All right. briars um, if you can put your hand right there and grab that and see, that's one of the more full ones. Absolutely beautiful. I probably wouldn't get that one. I would get, try to take those extension cords and reach down there and get some of those. Don't fall. Don't fall. You're leaning down. Oh my gosh. Don't worry about falling. Oh. <laughs> Elderberry surf just went up. The kids are hanging out. They're starting to get restless and we haven't even really got started. So as you can see, we hooked. There's the tape. We hooked some. Oh, she's warming. Hey, how are you? Sarah. Colby, you want to go talk to him? I lost my thing. He's taking on to his right. Hey, man. Go ahead and take that big one right by your head. We need to try to get those that are over there, Where? up over there, over and here? down there in that corner. 
what it takes to get an elderberry. <laughs> oh, oh, Tell why we're throwing electric cord instead of my hook I make. Because I brought electric cord just in case because it was heavier and longer. But tell why we can't have the other And one. the tape <laughs> is way down there. I don't know if you can see it. It fell. We had a sheriff's department drive up. Want to know what we were doing. Thankfully at the time, he didn't know who we were. But then when he found out who we were, he was like, oh man, yeah. That's so, some crazy heavy home stuff. So, um, Colby let go with the bush and it sucked the, his little lightweight thing, it sucked it down there. So. My awesome hook. Anyway, so now he's throwing my electrical cord that's heavier, that's weighing some of the limbs down that were really tall. So we're able to reach up and grab some of these, steal some green berries. Um, but there wasn't, there's really not much we can do about that because some are, are purple and ready and some are green. So we're just getting them and rolling with it right now. One thing about elderberry, even though they're big and tall, you would think that their uh, limbs would be real uh, strong, wow. but they're actually very, very brittle. I can't use it that one. That's fine. There's still some over here I would try to get. It's down there. Where? Down wow. there. If you could rope it and pull them up. If I had my real rope, I could. I don't know if I can do it with a speaking thing. So we are literally working in like a like a true jungle, what I would say, like a true jungle. Ow! lotion or something so <laughs> but at least we got it all done we pulled as much as we could we already had a good bit that we had harvested from Misty so if y'all seen that prior vlog but this is uh we're just trying to finish up what she could not get by herself so um I think I'm happy with what we got we got the five gallon bucket is literally full um I mean you know, that's some space in there with the tree limbs and everything it's but... probably got some skin in there too from uh me getting ripped off so. All right, we had a good day. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Happy homesteading.